Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Glad everybody could join us today. We're going to have another interesting conversation uh, with Bill Jordan, my partner, John Coleman, and I just absolutely love. As a matter of fact, we like Bill Jordan so much, we actually watch some of his Facebook feeds and stuff like that in between. We're not just nice to him uh, during our conversation. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not nice to anybody during our conversation. We really well, I appreciate everybody. that, guys. When you chime in, when y'all chime in on something on Facebook, that just lets me know that I have not been unfollowed by everybody. I feel like I feel like some days that I have been unfollowed by virtually everyone. Well, right? not everybody, just most of us. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and we only, quite frankly, we only do it to suck you in, to make you keep coming back. Yeah. Because... Okay, well, whatever. I enjoy it. <laughs> Hey, Bill, I noticed you've got your uh, uh, military cap on, American flag, camo hat. And I want you to know that among us today is a true Marine Corps veteran. He's in the upper right-hand corner of the box there. Oh, would, that be, would, would that be me? Uh, that would be you. Or that Semper would be Fi. you. Semper Fi. Uh, Semper Fi. Uh, Veterans Day is right around the corner. Uh, so we salute you. Salute you and thank you for your service, Art. Thank you. Did I use the wrong hand? No. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, there okay. you go. Yeah. Uh, now, Bill, have you ever served? I unfortunately did not serve uh, our country's military service. As I like to say, only semi facetiously, I served my country best by not serving my country. And we thank uh, you. And we thank you for that. I, I have had people, well, thank you for your non service. I <laughs> know uh, my dad served in World War II, combat veteran in World War II. Both, br both of my older brothers served in the Air Force. Yep. I've got uncles, nephews, cousins, and everybody else who have served, and I did not. And that's probably one of my, uh, probably one of my little bit, little little regrets in my life. But uh, big supporter of our military, and uh, can't thank them enough. That's for sure. Not just yeah. Veterans Day, but every day. Sure, sure. Well, it's a uh, a unique calling, and thank God people are willing to do it. Thank I bless God, bless God, bless them all. Every day for for defending us, even though you know sometimes it's just uh, sitting around the camp. That's okay with me. Well, there is that, but too, you know, we also have to remember that that they're all volunteers now. There's no draft, right. so they're in. It's not like the old days when you went in because Uncle Sam said greetings, uh, you know, report on you know such and such a date at such and such a recruiting office. Uh, if you're in there now, you you wanted to be there, so yeah. that's an extra special hats off. Uh, uh, for them, but I have the utmost respect and and uh, uh, and respect for for anybody serving, man, woman in the military. It's just I think, like you said, the the guys who make it, the men and women who make it a career, it is a real calling and a real passion. Yeah, Art, you uh, you volunteered, and that I was did. many years ago, long before uh, they ended the draft. Yeah, but but I'm uh, first of all, I love being in the Marine Corps. I was in for a total of six years. Uh, after active duty, I was uh, I stayed in the reserves, uh, attained the rank of sergeant, and had even contemplated. Uh, well, I actually graduated after I had a college degree, and this is back in the uh, mid '60s. Uh, so I was an only college graduate, and I insisted on going to Paris Island because when I was growing up, I had seen this movie called The DI, and uh, Jack Webb. Jack, Jack Webb. Webb. And uh, I have to tell you that virtually. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my service. Uh, I'm glad I went in. It's a personal thing for all of us. Uh, I didn't actually have to go in, but I chose to at the time. And um, uh, I, most of my uh, casual friends that I meet at gyms and other things are all ex-military, and I don't care what branch they served in, in what era. Uh, I have respect for uh, anybody who ever put on a uniform because as we see, you know, you could get... Uh, called into action anytime. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, but you, but you, um, uh, Bill, are you're sort of like um, your cam cami hat is because you do hunting, don't you? Well, um, groundhogs up at the family farm in Virginia, and that's really it. That's really about it. But uh, no, I just like you know I've got a thing about camo. I don't know why, but the American flag, and we were going to be talking about Veterans Day and stuff, and so I just kind of this was I thought I'd wear this for. For our uh, cast about Veterans Day. Yeah, yeah. so Veterans Day wasn't that uh, uh, originally to uh, uh, 
uh, celebrate the end of World War One, the eleventh hour of the eleventh day, and then it's 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 morphed into uh, yeah, things like, which has yeah. little to do with veterans, uh, three day weekends, and then holiday well, yeah, sales. that's the thing. Originally, it was Armistice Day, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the, it warped it warped into Veterans Day, and I and I, you know, I. It's great that we honor the veterans, but when we do call it a, you know, it's a holiday and Veterans Day to many means saving 15% on a shirt. I think that kind of takes away from it. And also there's a, there's, there seems to be a, a vast confusion among our society in confusing Veterans Day with Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. And I'll see that on Veterans Day, uh, for people, you know, remembering those who gave their lives. That's not Veterans Day. That's Memorial Day. Right. Veterans Day is when we honor those who are serving or have served. Memorial Day is when we honor those Philip who have, have paid the ultimate sacrifice while in service. And again, Memorial Day, you know, you got you got mattress sales. It's like, come on. Right. That's the, I'm the same way about people wanting to have 9-11 as a holiday. It's like, no, it's a day of observance. It's not the, the thought yeah. of that 9-11 is going to be, you know, saving, you know, 20 percent on a gas grill. It's just foreign to me. It's it's well, mad. Bill, this is America. You can't have a holiday that it doesn't get commercialized. Right. That's all. Appar apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. So, so the veterans, anyway. Man, they're, they're just, I mean, the veterans, and there are people also I know that think that if people do volunteer for the military, it's because they can't hack it anywhere else. Let me tell you, some of the smartest people I know have served in the military. Right. If I were still running businesses, I would always look for uh, uh, veterans of uh, military service uh, for my uh, up and coming people because they've a had to take responsibility and assuming they served honorably and they didn't get out for doing axe murders and things like that, which depending on the business that you're in, you may actually want that. Like I don't know you, I, I, security. Let me business. know when you let me know when you open that business, Art. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that you're you're ready. You you're you're well trained in that. But uh, just uh, as a uh, minimum, uh, the difference is that on Veterans Day, that's when the old guys are outside of supermarkets selling poppies. Yes. That's only, which are the, I guess, the, the plant that fill the fields. Uh, uh, Flanders. Uh, yep. Right. So, uh, but um, uh, it's, uh, I think, a great day that we should have that. I wish that they do away with Veterans Day and they would just treat veterans better by by beefing up the Veterans Administration, where I know a lot of a lot of uh, veterans actually go for the care. Once they get in, it's great, but getting in and getting service yeah. sometimes yeah. really sucks. So, yeah. Um, well, we we can all do something about that as voters. But in the meantime, we should embrace the boom. I appreciate that. Yes, uh, Embrace the Boom. You can go to Bill Jordan, EmbraceTheBoom.com. If you'd like one of these handy-dandy 15-ounce mugs, holds 15 ounces of whatever you want in it. And But I, if you don't mind, guys, I'd like to share something with you real quickly about Veterans Day, or about veterans as we think about them. And it's just a real quick piece. So here it is. It's the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to protest. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. And that sums it up and why we owe them so much, I think. Nothing else to be said on that. No. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Look forward Thanks to for having you. me on, guys. Thank you. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.